Hello, my name is Kelly McCown. I'm the teacher, author, and owner of Teaching Math and More LLC. Today on the Teaching Math and More channel, we're talking about five rules that your math class should have to avoid misbehaving, being disrespectful, and having other bad student behaviors. Do you have students that are misbehaving, being disrespectful, or abusing the rules? No more. Let's start setting the expectations for your classroom with rules to keep your students on track and behaving this school year. Rule number one, be on time. Students should be on time to class. This helps them set up for success with the other four classroom rules. Being on time is being respectful to the teacher and other students in the classroom. You're not the only one valuing your time, but the others around you also. Teaching timeliness is a good value to have. Rule number two, be prepared. Every student should come to school prepared to learn. Students come from different households and backgrounds, but it's important to be ready for their job as a student. Learning will not happen if students are not prepared for it. Help your students make it a habit to come prepared to school every day. Being prepared is showing responsibility and initiative for oneself. Rule number three, be respectful. Being a good student includes being respectful of everyone at school. This includes the teacher, principal, school staff, and classmates. When students are kind and courteous to others, showing respect, it will help with everyone's learning process. Rule number four, be seated. There is a right time and a right place for everything. Students need to be mindful of the classroom space. Sometimes it's appropriate to be out of their seat for an activity, and other times it's appropriate to be seated. This rule may sound rigid, but it's for safety and personal space reasons for students to stay in their seat. Rule number five, be quiet. Classroom noise does not have to be an issue. You can set the tone for the appropriate amount of volume. Being quiet is relative to the teacher's noise volume, so students can talk using their indoor voices when it's appropriate. Being quiet is relative to the teacher's directions and activity happening in the classroom. Here are three ways to keep your rules. It's important to make a list of rules, five or less, that you can keep, be consistent with, and hold students accountable to. If you're not sure that you can do it, reevaluate your list of rules. It's key to make sure your rules are fair and consistent for your classroom. So when a problem arises in your classroom, you have five simple rules in place. You'll be able to easily remedy the problem with a solution. Classroom rules are expectations. Your classroom rules set expectations. They let everyone know how they should behave and why. You set the rules for your own classroom. If you don't set them, be prepared to have your students set the expectations for your classroom and for you. Every teacher knows behavior problems are inevitable, but what if you could prevent it? When it's time to start learning in the classroom, wouldn't it be great if your kids were listening and being respectful during the lesson, there were less behavior problems to deal with, students showed more responsibility in the classroom? Avoid it by planning on helping your students now. Ready to implement your rules and have your students start behaving? The Good Behavior Toolkit is the fastest way to implement your rules, procedures, and consequences in your classroom today. Be ready this school year with the best classroom management tools, the Good Behavior Toolkit. Get yours today. The link is available in the comments below this video. All the tools you need to have better behaved kids in class now, including behavior plans, interventions, techniques, and more. For more information about the Good Behavior Toolkit, be sure to check out the Teaching Math and More shop. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Cheers to having a great school year.